So for today, I decided to do a review on this Eureka the Boss Smart Vac. I looked it up and apparently Eureka on their website is saying that this machine is discontinued. But yeah, I still see it on Amazon. So I don't know if it's fully discontinued. But it's worth doing a review. So this particular vacuum, I did not buy new. I did have one when we first got this house in 2005. But uh, my stepdad on accident vacuumed a wet spot where a pipe burst, so a whole bunch of water went into the motor, and it died. And that was before I could even change a belt on the sanitaire, so I didn't know how to fix a blown motor. This particular machine I got from my local vacuum shop, they got as a trade-in, and the owner knows that I've been looking for this particular red model because this is the one that it's exact it's identical to the one I had when I was little and when he got this as a trade-in he called me and he sold it to me for five bucks and the best part is besides having some tape on the hose and missing the upholstery brush it has the crevice tool the dusting brush the it's this is the only ma main broken part and it doesn't stand up because occasionally this is pretty worn, so occasionally this stays out, and then the vacuum falls over, but it works most of the time. The brush was in good condition. Um, the only thing is, it was rattling on this side. I don't know why. I, I cleaned it out, and it stopped rattling. And then I got a new HEPA filter for it, and I had, some, I had to use Arm & Hammer bags for now. Um, which honestly, I've been doing a lot of house cleaning with my mom, and that's why this bag's so full. And I usually take this machine instead of her sanitaire because I feel like this grooms the carpet better and has more airflow, and it's easier to use and it has a long onboard tools and everything, so it's perfectly fine. As you can see, these are where the ribs of the bag cover go. I did look on Amazon, there are HEPA cloth bags for this machine, which I'm gonna get, but I'm just really, really, like, just too lazy to order them, so I have to just wait one day when I have the energy to order them on Amazon. Once I stop using this machine so frequently, I'd probably use the HEPA cloth bags, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the paper bags on it for now. Also, the headlight works, everything works, and I just decided to show the agitation of it because this is our entrance mat there's some visible dirt on it but I feel like that's there's some sand in here too because I'm pretty sure this is the entry mat so it has sand in it This machine has a lot of power, and for being a plastic vacuum and one of Eureka's, I feel like you, this is a pretty sturdy one for being a newer Eureka. Um, the only other newer Eureka I like is the Airspeed, the original Airspeed. Um, that's the, these are those are probably the only two, and they're fairly good deep cleaners. And this machine has every time I take it to a customer's house has always lifted the pile. A noticeable amount not like oh it looks brand new but you could tell that it, it's lifting the pile and this bag has been in here for just two weeks which sounds like a lot for bringing a bag but it's a pretty big bag as you could tell 
And it's only been, and I've only cleaned two houses plus my house. A really good deep cleaning when I first got this machine, I went everywhere. I used, I turned off the brush roll and I, it, it's good on bare floors too. That's another thing I like. That's why I use it for house cleaning because I could just shut the brush roll off and clean it. So I've only cleaned two other houses and one of them is a two story. So I did their stairs and this bag's already mm, like up to here. It's this is another. The only weird thing is sometimes the dirt will come like this. That's how it's really set up right now. But it's it's getting it full. So I need to go get more bags for this. But that just shows you that this machine is also quiet. It's another thing I like. It's quiet. It's a great performer. It's a little on the heavy side. I'm not going like that's the only downside. But since I'm used to lugging lugging around like that wide track over there then it's no big deal the headlight is kind of like a cool looking headlight um i don't necessarily think it's that practical just because of where they placed it but it's still a pretty neat looking headlight and this brush roll actually doesn't get that's my dryer this brush roll actually doesn't get that much hair wrapped around it compared to other machines that I've used, it's like the Airspeed one, the Airspeed one and the Airspeed, those were horrible, like their brush rolls would almost instantly get wrapped with hair, but this one has doesn't have that problem. So if you find it cheap on Amazon and it's still available, I recommend it. I would not spend over $200 on it. I think they're like at 180 right now on Amazon or somewhere but if you really want to try this machine I highly recommend it